and welcome to Silicon Valley Nonprofits. I'm Bev Lenahan, your host. This is a wonderful series brought to you by KMVT Community Television. And today we're very pleased to welcome uh, with us again, Greg, the CEO of Catholic Charities, Silicon Valley. Thank you, uh, Santa Clara County. I always wanna say Silicon Valley, but Santa Clara County, you cover a broad area. So uh, one of the things I want to talk to you about today is your 60th anniversary, which is coming right up. And uh, I know there's many, um, in-depth uh, programs and celebrations that you're going to have. So tell us a little bit about your 60th and what you've got planned. Thanks, Bev, it's great to be here. And the, the 60th anniversary of Catholic Charities is a way to honor uh, the tradition of Catholic Charities serving so many people in this valley. Over the past 60 years, we estimate that we served over 1.2 million oh people <laughs> in Santa Clara Valley. And, uh, but also, it's not just about celebrating the past and, and honoring the wonderful supporters that we've had uh, over, over time, but it's also looking to the future and how can we actually make a difference in reducing poverty mm -hmm. in, in this valley. So we're, we've got the celebration of uh, the mass and the gala, uh, all of that, the, the wonderful celebration of, of people in the past who've, who've supported us. And at the same time, we're doing an out of poverty summit. And with that summit, we're working with other nonprofits, faith communities, government entities and businesses to look at a comprehensive strategy to reduce poverty in Santa Clara County. Fabulous. Well, um, the summit, I, I like the idea of having the two-sided where it's not just um, a, a celebration, but you're actually moving some strategies forward that you want to do. So who are some of your partners that you're working with in that regard and how are they going to fit into this summit um, atmosphere? So one of our partners and sponsors is the Silicon Valley Community Foundation. Mm, very good. And um, we also have a lot of our other partners through our Step Up Silicon Valley network. So Step Up Silicon Valley is our anti-poverty collaborative and it's a social incubation uh, innovation network. So we, we create solutions to poverty right here in the valley, things like uh, pay for success or a thousand out of poverty, finding, finding ways to measure people actually moving out of poverty. Mm -hmm. So the partners uh, within that group include groups like uh, the Housing Trust, the Health Trust, uh, Goodwill. Charities Housing? Charities Housing, mm -hmm. and Charities Housing is actually a, an affiliated corporation of Catholic Charities oh, as well. Oh, very good. Okay, I see. So they, they will certainly be represented, I'm sure, in that summit. Yes, uh, absolutely. Yeah. And, and we're looking, again, not for the classic, you know, conference where it's talking heads, but it's really saying, what are your solutions to, to mm -hmm. reducing poverty, mm -hmm. to preventing poverty, to alleviating the conditions of poverty? And then what are your recommendations for a plan moving forward? And those that are willing to step up over the next several years to work together on a comprehensive plan. So that's what you hope the outcome will be is that that uh, working even more tightly together than you have been in the past. Ex exactly, yeah. uh -huh. and 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 you know the re the reality in the nonprofit sector is we do work together a lot. Part of our issue is that our funders often silo us because of the f the funding is siloed by well we'll fund early childhood development or we'll fund seniors or we'll fund refugees or we'll fund people with mental illness, and as nonprofits we have to figure out how do we braid all of this funding mm. because. An individual is not just someone with mental illness. It's not just a person that happens to be no. an immigrant. It's someone that has all sorts of needs, but it's someone who has also all sorts of strengths and resiliency. So how do we build on that and build on it as a community together? Mm -hmm. I, I love that visualization of the braids because that is the way it is. And yet we are uh, holistic beings. And um, you know each person wants to feel like those services are uh, sort of holistic as they come to us, right? That's right, and, <laughs> and, and so part of what we're doing at Catholic Charities with our 60th year is we've also established a new strategic plan ah. where we're focused on client-centered services. So rather than services focused on what the funders say, we want to blend or braid the funding to focus on what the clients say that they need and want. I think that's yeah. very uh, true also with um, donors individual donors or, or family foundations, they really um, tend to look more than maybe some government funding toward that um, holistic approach. So I think this will be a welcome message to your funders as well as your clients. 
We hope so. <laughs> <laughs> I really think it will be. Yeah. So tell, tell me, in wrapping up today, a little bit about the gala. What have you got planned for that? So the gala is a wonderful celebration. Of course, we're going to have music and dance good, and celebrating the, the, the music of the last 60 years. And we're also honoring three wonderful couples, oh. uh, Bob and Carol Peters, oh. and Andrea and Joe Thomas, and Susan and Ray Triplett, who have been longtime supporters of Catholic Charities, giving time, talent, and treasure, mm -hmm. uh, working and volunteering to help those most in need. And so it's, it's a wonderful opportunity to honor them. We have Sister Donna Markham, who's the president and CEO of Catholic Charities USA, uh, joining us, as well as Mayor Sam Licardo from the city of San Jose. Oh, nice messages you'll get from them, I'm sure. And then honoring uh, people who have been longtime supporters. I, like, I know they've been volunteers, haven't they? <laughs> Yes, right. and as well as supporters. So uh, enjoy that time, and um, congratulations on 60 wonderful years. Thanks, Beb. Thank you. Thanks for coming today, Greg.